Hey, I'm Hunter from Skillthrive, and in this video, you'll use React hooks to set and change the color values based on on mouse enter and on mouse out events. I was on this website called colorsandfonts.com the other day, and it's a really cool website just as a design resource because it has some great inspiration for palettes, gradients, and font pairings. But specifically on the fonts pairing section, I thought it was a really cool feature that they had where you could hover over these little pills that say black, blue, and yellow, and the background and uh, text color will change in order for you to see how the fonts look on different colors. And I thought this was a really cool use case of something like this, and maybe it will inspire you to add a similar effect in your own projects. And what we're gonna do is recreate this using React, specifically using React hooks. And in order to just get up and going real quickly, we're gonna be using codesandbox.io. And this allows us to go ahead and just create a React app really quickly in a browser and then go ahead and just start writing the code without having to set it up on our local machine. Now, once you go ahead and sign up for that, we wanna come into Create Sandbox and just click here on React to create a starter React project. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give um, you guys a uh, some starter code here so you don't have to um, you know, follow along and create all of this yourself. And we're also not gonna be covering how to create this, you know, card and all that. But I am just really quickly gonna talk about, you know, the, a general overview of how I did this. And what I did after I created the uh, project is I came into source, I created a components folder and I created this uh, card JSX file. And down here you can see that this is just a uh, basic, uh, you know, function component. This isn't a, a class component. And why that's important is before um, React Hooks, you would have to use a class component in order to use state, but React Hooks has simplified that. And we'll go over that in just a few minutes. And another thing here that I'm using, which you might not be aware of, is CSS in JS. And what that allows you to do is use CSS in your JS files. And that's really cool because one, all your CSS is in a component. And two, you can also use variables um, you know, from your state, pass those into, you know, a background color, uh, you know, value here. And if that state changes, so will the background uh, color value, and then that will be reflected in your component. Now, uh, what I'm using to do this is emotion. So in order to install emotion, you would come down to add dependency. I just searched for emotion. I clicked here to add that, and that will add it as a dependency here in our package.json file. So that's basically everything I did for getting the project up and going. Now, again, uh, I'm using the CSS function from Emotion, and this allows me to declare a constant called card, which is essentially like, think of it like a class name. And then we write, uh, declare the function with two backticks, and then we just, between the two backticks, write our CSS. And this is just basic, your you know basic CSS. And you can see here that I'm to, um, styling the ch uh, ch H1 child of this card by just writing it like this, then our basic CSS. And I did that for all of the components down here. So now that we did that, let's go ahead and start using uh, use state hook in order to set up state in our function component. So we'll do that by first uh, importing it up here at the top. Then what we will do is we'll go ahead and declare our state values. And we'll do that by writing a constant. And then this constant is going to be an array. And the first value is the state name, which in this case is going to be background. Then the, uh, the next value is what we're going to call in order to change the background. And this is a really good just naming convention. So have your state name and then set whatever your set, uh, state is. So background and then set background. Then we declare useState and then we pass in an initial value. And in this case, it's just going to be a hex code. Now let's go ahead and just copy this because we're going to create one more state here. And this is going to be a value for font. And we're going to change this on set font. And this is going to have the following hex code. So let's go ahead and save that. And now we have background and font in our state and we can use these variables uh, here in our CSS. So let's go, go ahead and um, just set some of these variables here. So on background color, we want to set that to uh, background. On the font color, we want to set that 
to font here on our H1. And we also want to do the same thing for our P tags. So if you save that, you can see nothing's changed because this is our initial state. Uh, and that's a good, and nothing's crashing, which means that these are all set up correctly and pulling in. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a helper function that's going to call set background and set font. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that function on the on mouse enter and on mouse out event for each of these buttons. And in order to do that, we're gonna write an arrow function. And I'm gonna call this arrow function um, const set style. And like I said, this is going to um, take in two values. It's gonna take in a background, which is gonna be a, a string, it's gonna be a hex code. And it's also gonna take in a font. And here is our arrow function. And then we wanna call set background. And we're gonna pass in that background value into this set background. Then we're going to call set font, passing in the font value. All right, and that's everything as far as setting up our state. Now we just need to call this function for each of these buttons and then just change the hex code. So let's come down to the first button here, which is our uh, black button. And on um, our black button, we first want to set an on mouse enter event. So on mouse enter, and this is going to be uh, equal to an arrow function. And it's important to call this as an arrow function uh, because if not, this would just be executed as soon as this component um, was mounted. So here we call set style and we need to pass in the two values. So let's go ahead and pass this in as a string. And the first one's going to be the value for our background, which is going to be that black. And the second value is going to be the white, which is our font value. So it's just the opposite of what it is now. So let's go ahead and save that. And we could test this now, but let's go ahead and just write on mouse out. And this is also going to be an arrow function. And this is going to then again call set style. And we're going to pass in two values here. And this is just going to essentially be the opposite of what we just wrote up here. So this is going to be, uh, the background is going to be that white value. And the second one is going to be the black. So we're going to set the font back to black. So if we save that, now we can, once we hover over this black button, the background should be black and the text should be white. And there you go. And then once we come out on mouse out, it reverts back to the initial state. And we're going to be using this uh, on mouse out is going to be the same for each one. So let's go ahead and just copy on mouse out. And for each of these, we can just go ahead and paste that in right before the class and then go ahead and save it. So it saves it and makes it look pretty. And now what we need to do is just change the on mouse enter. So let's copy on mouse enter and just paste it in for each of these. And then all we need to do now is change this for each button. All right, so once we have that and save it, we can go ahead and now test out our new component. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and be sure to check out our other design and coding tutorials on our YouTube channel and on skillthrive.com. Again, I'm Hunter from Skill Thrive, and I'll see you in the next one.